What's up, you guys? Sublime with Rome here, and you are watching Head Rush TV. Some people, some people, some people say True love goes deeper with miles away Four in the morning, I'm lying awake Thinking about how it used to be Welcome, everybody. I am Josh with Head Rush TV, sitting here with Rome from Sublime with Rome. What's up, guys? And we are here in Sterling Heights, Detroit adjacent. Uh, for your guys' uh, stop on the tour. So how's it going? So far, so good, man. Been on for about a month, and uh, we about, we have like three and a half weeks left. Cool. Yeah, yeah you guys are awesome. on a 48-day uh, tour, I think I saw. Yeah, 48 days. And you're about halfway done, so that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been rad. We've, we've made our way, not all the way to the East Coast, but we made it over to like the Midwest and then back to the West Coast and then back through the Midwest <laughs> and thought to hit the East. And then, man. Yeah finish it up tracking some miles yeah that's um cool, man. so you guys are out promoting your new album blessings which yep. just came out about a month or so yeah ago. may 31st dang time flies that's uh, crazy what was the uh the process like for writing this song or this album compared to like other albums well we definitely have more time um you know we we, we were doing a lot of traveling at the time to doing a lot of touring and we didn't really get like a full opportunity to go into the studio and like you know just try and like make a rad record mm -hmm. um they were kind of just like take some weeks off and try and like get together and put some songs together and i don't know like you need like good time in order to do like an album you know so like this one it took a couple of years but when we had the time like a month mm -hmm. um we were like yo we want to spend that good amount of time in the studio and really get focus on doing an album so we talked to management and um and we were able to do that in like 2016 and we started we got like wicked heart and blessings <clears throat> and light on and then after those three songs everything really started to take shape we well, were like i think we got an album what was it like working with uh rob cavillo dude rob's crazy he's like a really talented guy man and he, he works side by side with this um mixer engineer named doug mckean mm -hmm. and they're just such an incredible duo man like um you know, we've never really worked with like, I guess like a super producer mm -hmm. like like him before. You know, not even close. He is a super producer. Right. Um, and you know when, like, it's different because you kind of expect like, like a producer almost you know to to his stature to almost kind of like take over the project. Right. At least that was my assumptions. Yeah. Like when you work with such a big producer, and it couldn't be any like any any like more the other way like he was really just kind of in the background and just facilitated like the songwriting mm -hmm. and then when we started hearing like the mixes back and the bounces back of the stuff that we've been tracking everything sounded massive and nice. we were like holy shit this <laughs> sounds like a you know like a huge record you right know? so we were stoked on that so in addition to the new record you guys also have a documentary coming out uh, yeah with bill gutentag like oscar award winning yeah it's sublime gutentag. sublime's got it's crazy. It's been such an insane year. Like, there's so many things that have just kind of popped off on the mm -hmm. radar, with, like Lana Del Rey's cover of "Doing Time." That, that's a and beautiful then, cover too. And then, yeah, I, I thought she <laughs> she bodied that. Eric played bass on that as well, okay. um, which is cool because you know you probably wouldn't expect like you know like an actual punk bass player to be playing on that mm -hmm. style of a song, but yeah. you know she she really made it a point to reach out to Eric to have him play. Um, and yeah like with the documentary and everything like i feel like right now is like it's such a like a really rad time um in music because i think like people are kind of getting a little over like all the hip-hop stuff on the radio all the time right and like you know the bubbly pop stuff doesn't really seem to be catching right mm -hmm. now because you know whatever climate the world is in right um so it's like people kind of want some like raw shit you know and you can always go back to sublime for some really raw stuff you know do you think we're like on the cusp of another like ska reggae kind of wave I mean, again? I can't say like, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, but his, history music. always like kind of like, if it doesn't repeat itself, it like rhymes really yeah. close. And I feel like, you know, the trend for the last decade was um, really kind of like based around like computer music, um, uh, of which I'm a huge fan of as well. Right. But, um, uh, you know, just I can kind of see like a lot of people are getting back into like just more natural style mm -hmm. music. I think you know. 
so looking at your set list what song like you're looking at it what song are you like man i can't wait to get on stage and play that song tonight um i mean i could tell you what song i can't wait not to play <laughs> um take it or leave it but i think right if i was to say which song i, I really love playing we always kind of switch it up too so that kind of changes but i always really like playing uh Skank it to the beat, okay. Because it's like a, it's it's like our rendition of like a Fishbone classic, okay. And I just think like it's tight because Eric sings a verse on the song. And nice. Like, you don't ever do that ever, so <laughs> it's like kind of rad to just back up off the mic and watch him just like shred and sing. It's like hell yeah. <laughs> nice. So uh, Michigan just legalized marijuana. Congratulations um, to all the medical patients out there. Right. And uh, Illinois, it, mm. I believe they just did too. Uh, where's the best weed at? I mean, it'll always be in California. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I think our just like precipitation or something, you know, like, I don't know what it is, man, but it's something about the, the humidity out there, you know, it's just control and yeah, buds out in Cali are just so good. Buds out in Colorado are really good too. But, um, I don't know, man, I feel like after the growing process, when they're like sitting around in bags or in jars, like right. they just last a little longer in Cali. They don't turn to dust as fast. You know? <laughs> um, so you did a couple songs with, or you did a song with Megan Trainer and Enrique Iglesias. So, wow, given wow. the uh, the opportunity, like who would you want to trap in the studio with you? Man, I'm always down for anybody. Um, yeah, I, I have some pretty random ass credits as far as that goes. Um, but if I was to get anyone in the studio today, like. I'd want to get someone like, probably just more so on like the old school tip. Like, you know, it'd be sick to get Danny Alfman in the studio. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be really rad. Yeah, Danny Alfman, or like, even like getting like Sting or something. You know, that'd be yeah. super rad. Or a legend like Jimmy Cliff. That'd be rad. Lionel Richie. Yeah, Lionel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that'd be tight too. You know. That would be dope. All right. Well, uh, anything else you got to plug or anything you want to say? Um. Nah, it's been an awesome 10 years. We're grateful for all the fans, and thank you guys for taking the time and chatting with us, man. We're ready to go out there and put on a bomb-ass show and start dropping some more music videos. Nice. All right, well, thank you. So I'm Josh with Head Rush TV. Peace. Later.